All right, so this is where we left off from the last tutorial. Um, so next thing we're gonna do here, let me first change the game's name. We're gonna call it um, Tutorial Adventures. All right, and we're gonna start looking into scripts. So let's take a look at the script. So there are currently three different scripts shown here. So we got initialize, player joins game, and player leaves game. I'm going to walk through each one of them um, and tell you guys what's going on. So the scripts, um, they get executed in two ways. It's either executed by a certain event happening. So for example, initialize script gets executed when the game starts, or when we add an action that does uh, run script and we can execute a script manually. Uh, we'll go over this later. Don't worry about it for now. So cancel everything. So this initialize script, yes, it gets executed when the game starts, but there's nothing going on. There's no action. Now let's talk about player joins the game script. First, before I explain what's going on here, let me just give you a, a quick introduction of what the environment tab looks like. So this tab, is the place where you can manage all your game assets, such as your units, your item types, your projectile types, and so on. Uh, we'll go through those more in detail in the later chapters. But for now, I just want to show you that right now in the game, we have one player unit type uh, that looks like this. You can open that window to see more detail if you click on it. Same thing for the item, which right now we only have one item, which is fist. Um, and now if you go back to the scripts tab, you can see that the script is triggered uh, with when player joins the game trigger. How this works is that when, hold on, let me refresh this page. So when player clicks on play game button, that triggers the when player joins the game trigger. So when player joins the game, then we run our first action, uh, which is to create a player Player is this uh, a player unit that I showed you a little earlier right here. So we're going to create this unit, create player for the triggering player, which is the player that just joined the game, um, at a random position in spawn. So remember the spawn region? So we're going to create that unit at a random position within this region, uh, facing zero radiance, which is basically looking up. Uh, the second action is to create a new fist, which again, is in the environment, you can see the fist item here. So we're creating a new fist with a quantity of one, um, and we're giving it to the last created unit. And what last created unit, you might ask, that's the unit that was just created in the previous action. See, we're creating a unit here. We're creating a player, see? So once we create the unit, we run the next command to give the item um, to that created unit. And then the following action is to make triggering player, so again, this is the player that just joined the game, uh, that player's camera will track the last created unit. The camera tracking, so, so you see if you're moving around, um, the camera is actually tracking the unit, right? It's following it. Let me disable this for a second and let me republish the game. And now you can see that the camera is not tracking the unit. All right, so let me enable this again. So this is for when player joins the game. Uh, let's see what happens when the player leaves the game. This is triggered when the player closes the browser, basically. So if I close it, what it does is it iterates through all units that are in the game. At the time when I left the game, there really was just one unit, but uh, this could have up to 50 players all playing at the same time. So what it does is it iterates through all 50 units in the game, and then it checks for the owner of each one of those selected units. Um, and then it checks if the owner of that unit was the triggering player, the player that just left the game. And if they're matching, we are going to destroy that selected unit. So selected unit is basically the unit that's currently selected in the loop, okay? So that's it for all the first three scripts. If you have any questions, please leave your comments in the below. 
Uh, other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys all next time.